operating in your authentic skin, when you finally stop resisting, when you finally say, I'm going to show up as me, whoever that turns out to be, as long as I'm operating on that frequency, doors open. They will. That doesn't mean the fear won't come up. We'll talk about fear in a sec. So, let's get into it. We're going to get into a little bit of the brain. So the brain has three ma major parts that I want you to focus on. The brain stem, this is where you take notes, copious notes. <laughs> the brain stem is important. It's important for our unconscious behaviors. It allows us to breathe without thinking. It allows, us, uh, allows our heartbeat to beat thousands and thousands of times a day. Thank you, heart. You know, it's a grateful moment, right? But it also is a source of our instincts, our flight and fight response, when we just react to something, right? Survival mode. And it's the only region of the brain. This middle region is the emotional brain. This is where we feel our love and our fear and our anger and our joy. But if it's not regulated, it will go awry. And these two will work in tandem to get what we have in our current world, depression, anxiety, violence, failure of our financial system, our educational system. They are all signs that we are operating on our lower primitive brain instead of our higher order thinking brain. And the most advanced part of the brain is this front part right behind your eyes. It's called the prefrontal cortex. It's the most advanced part of the brain. And I'll go into this a little further. So brainstem, emotional brain, prefrontal cortex. Let's just call it the CEO of the brain, the leader, okay? Because it should be directing the rest of the brain. This is where we plan, where we visualize. This is where we can get focused. How many of you think you have ADHD? Attention deficit disorder. Yeah, well, if we just learn to magnify this, if we train our brains to use this better, you won't have it. But it's when these lower primitive parts are dominating. You know, we're not able to think at these higher levels. Now, we use more than 10% of our brains. That's a myth. That's old, okay? Our brains are on fire, like fireworks, if you look at it in brain scans and you're talking or looking at something, all parts of the brain start to light up. But we only use 5% of our prefrontal cortex, our higher advanced part of the brain. Only 5% of this potential because this other part is dominating. Okay? Once you just know that, you take your level of awareness from here to here. Okay? Born with a set number of neurons. That's an old myth too, right? You're only born with a certain number of brains. If you lose it, if you lose your brain cells, you never get it back. Well, that's all debunked now, right? Because we now know that we can stimulate new brain cells. Okay? So our potential is limitless. So when I train people, when I coach people, when I share with people about their own brain, I teach them how to operate at that higher level of awareness. Because if you're operating at this higher level of awareness, that prefrontal cortex, that CEO, that leader part of your brain, all your decisions will operate from that place, that higher place, that can, the higher prefrontal cortex can connect you to the divine, to that higher mind, to that spirit. But if you're not operating from that place, it's hard to connect. It's hard to stay connected. When, so I was in the plane and, um, you know, flying over the clouds, it just gave me more perspective on this slide because when a, when a plane is flying above 30,000 feet, there's always sunshine. There's always blue sky. It doesn't matter what kind of storm is going on. Once you get to this place, you can handle the storms because they're going to come up. We have work to do. 
and on this planet. So if we're operating from this place, we can handle other stuff that's coming into our lives. So let's, let's figure out how to operate from that place. Let's learn some brain facts, bug facts, brain facts. Your, your brain weighs three pounds, and it, but it uses up 20% of the body's energy. That's a lot of energy for a three pound mass in your brain. Physicists call it a universe because it is. It has more atoms, it has more connections than a number of stars in the universe because it's made up of a hundred billion brain cells, each able to connect to one to 10,000 other brain cells. So if you add all that up, that's trillions and trillions and trillions of connections going on in your brain. And every time a one brain cell talks to the other, it's called an action potential. Go figure. So how many action potentials, how much potential do you have in your brain? Trillions and trillions and trillions. All that potential sitting there. And the more you understand it, the more you can use it, the more you can train your brain to operate at a certain level and train your brain to do certain habits, have certain thoughts, certain emotions. We have a saying in neuroscience, brain cells that fire together wire together. So the more you focus your attention on something, your brain will wire itself. It will grow physio physiologically um, in that direction and create mental maps so that it becomes habit. Habits are great. You know, habits don't require a lot of energy. That's why we form habits. So when we form good habits that serve us, right, that's a good thing. It's when the habits don't serve us. So focus. Focusing your attention is crucial.